The king cobra, Ophiophagus hanna, is one of the world's most famous and largest venomous snakes. Here is some information about the king cobra. Description, king cobras are known for their impressive size and appearance. They can reach lengths of up to 18 feet, 5.5 meters, and are often brown, olive green, or black in color. They have distinctive hood-like markings on the back of their neck, which they can expand when threatened, earning them the name king cobra. Habitat, king cobras are primarily found in the rainforests and grasslands of Southeast Asia, including India, southern China, the Philippines, and parts of Indonesia. They prefer areas with dense vegetation, water sources, and prey. Diet, these snakes are carnivorous and primarily feed on other snakes, particularly other venomous snakes. They are also known to eat small mammals, birds, and occasionally even their own species. Venom, king cobras produce potent neurotoxic venom that can paralyze and kill their prey. Their venom is among the most toxic of all snake species, and they can deliver a large quantity of venom in a single bite. Behavior, king cobras are solitary and generally shy, but when threatened, they can become aggressive and are known to stand their ground, often raising their upper bodies and spreading their hoods to appear more intimidating. Reproduction, these snakes are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs. Female king cobras build nests and lay a clutch of eggs, which they incubate and protect. They are attentive mothers, guarding their eggs and young until they hatch. Conservation, king cobras are listed as a vulnerable species due to habitat loss and the illegal pet trade. They are also hunted and killed out of fear and superstition in some regions. Cultural significance, the king cobra holds cultural significance in various Southeast Asian societies and is sometimes associated with religious and mythological beliefs. The king cobra has a fearsome reputation. When annoyed, it spreads a narrow hood and growls loudly, but some scientists claim that their aggressiveness is grossly exaggerated. 74. In most of the local encounters with live, wild king cobras, the snakes appear to be of rather placid disposition, and they usually end up being killed or subdued with hardly any histrionics. These support the view that wild king cobras generally have a mild temperament, and despite their frequent occurrence in disturbed and built-up areas, are adept at avoiding humans. Naturalist Michael Wilmer Forbes Tweedy felt that this notion is based on the general tendency to dramatize all attributes of snakes with little regard for the truth about them. A moment's reflection shows that this must be so, for the species is not uncommon, even in populated areas, and consciously or unconsciously, people must encounter king cobras quite frequently. If the snake were really habitually aggressive records of its bite would be frequent, as it is they are extremely rare. Mortality rates vary sharply depending on many factors. In cases where envenomation is severe, death can be rapid. It's important to exercise caution and respect when encountering king cobras in the wild, as they can be dangerous due to their venomous bite. If you encounter one, it's best to observe from a safe distance and not provoke or antagonize it.